Good afternoon, guys. Coach Devin White's here, but not practicing today. Is he doing a hold in where he's in a contract dispute and showing up to avoid getting fined, but not practicing? No, it's not a hold in. We like to see where he is physically, so we don't feel like we need to put him out here right now until we test him and do everything. So, two or three days of camp is not going to help him that way. Do you know where Levante David is physically? Uh, he's been here. He's been here in a few practices, so we kind of know where he is physically by what he does and talking with the strength coaches. Todd, how close is Aaron Stenny? We saw him out here today doing some stuff. Uh, he's been like that for a while now. Until he's out here, I really couldn't tell you. Not for two days, no. I mean, we'll run tests and do all the lifting and running stuff inside, and he'll be ready for training camp. How was a pick from Trubowski and Dennis? How, how's his progress been, and, and maybe getting more reps as a result of the linebackers not being here as well? well? He's got a ton of reps. He, he's getting a lot of reps at both spots, so he's picking it up pretty good, and that's hard to do to come in as a rookie and pick up both spots. But he's a smart football player, and it's starting to slow down for him. Yeah, again, physically and seeing where he is and getting the mental test done and the physical test done for him. Is it being cautious too with him because of his injury? Definitely. Anybody not here? Huh? Everybody's here. Todd, if you get a chance to talk to Devin, what's his mindset? You know, he said he wanted to be traded. Is he, is he beyond that now? Is he with you all year? What is, what is his thought? His mindset is good. I mean, it's just business. That's part of it that takes care of itself. He'll be ready for training camp. He'll be good to go. Offense has some good plays, but you're not going to win many games turning the ball over, and we stress that after practice. Uh, you're happy for the defensive guys, but you're not happy from an offensive standpoint. Uh, it negates all the good things they've done, but, you know, this is what camp is for. How we've seen Pilot very consistently there at left guard as a start. Do you think of him as a starter? Is that his, his job to lose kind of, if you will? Right now it's his job to lose, yes. Todd, is there a, a difference between the mentality of what's going on OTAs and then when you get everybody here? No, it's the same for us. It's just an extension of OTAs. You know, you still don't have pads on. You can't hit anybody. Uh, we get more meeting time, which is really the main thing, but the practices are similar. Ty, we, we see teams across the league that, that aren't holding mandatory minicamp or skip rookie minicamp or skip OTAs. Does it surprise you that the teams aren't kind of taking full use of all the practices available? No, I mean, some guys, that's the way they coach and that's the way they think. We got to worry about ours. You know, we're still installing a new offense is what we're worried about and getting some people in here to learn that. So we continue to go with it. But I, I see efforts on both parts. How would you characterize the, the progress of both your quarterbacks with Kyle and, and Baker? Learning. I mean, learning, getting the system, everything. Everybody's here now, so they got everybody intact. Getting used to Mike and Chris, getting used to the running game, getting used to Dave calling it, but they're making progress. Just understanding the offense and making audibles at the line of scrimmage. Are you upset that you don't have to prepare for Dalvin Cook in the opener stuff? Well, anytime you're happy to have get rid of one, the other one usually comes in worse than that. So, <laughs> you know, I'll tell you after the game. <laughs> you brought another kicker in here to compete. What do you like about Blankenship? I was very productive in the past. You know, we needed another kicker in here. McLaughlin can't kick every day, and Blankenship has made some big kicks, and he's made some consistent kicks. So. You know, competition doesn't hurt anybody. What's it meant to have Shaq Barrett out here, knowing all that he's been through this offseason? And that's a testament to him. You know, Shaq's one of the mentally toughest character guys I know. To have him out here still trying to get ready, I'm sure it's not easy. Uh, but he's handling it, and we're behind him. John, who are any of the offense or defensive undrafted rookie free agents that have, have caught your eye? And shorts and t-shirt, I would say none. I want to see how they do in pads. There's some interesting guys that flashed. Isaac from Alabama State has flashed here and there. Enough to look at them in pads. And uh, Marquise has flashed that outside backer. A couple of offensive linemen when you see the pads on. And so we'll get to see them then. I don't think anybody's made a bigger jump. I mean, I think people have gotten smarter understanding how to play their position, but 
you got you got to wait till pads for all that stuff to come on and say we made the biggest jump. You can't play touch football, then go out and play tackle and be a different guy. We'll see who's consistent, and we'll make that decision then. In years past, Jason has always found a guy late, you know, uh, during the offseason going into training camp, a veteran to bring in. Do you anticipate that happening again this year? Do you guys have the ability financially to, to bring a veteran presence in? If we have that ability and we feel the need to, I'm sure we keep turning over stones and see who fits us, and if we need that spot, we'll turn it over. What gives you the most confidence, Todd, that the run game will be uh, more efficient this, this season? Just the chemistry starting out. You know, the chemistry starting out. You want it to be more different. I'll be more confident once it happens in pads, but I see the cohesiveness coming together right now, so that's a plus for us, and everybody's learning the same thing at the same time, so the communication has been good. Could Canalis' uh, scheme make a difference also in terms of the run game? It could make a scheme, you know, it could, it, make, it could make a difference basically, but if somebody's taking away the run and we have to throw away, we're able to do that too. So we like to run it more. You say you want to run it more, but essentially you got to take what the team's giving you to win the ball game. Can you speak on any progress that Zion McCollum might have made here in this offseason? The game slowed down for him. I think mentally he's in a different place understanding how the game has slowed down. He's playing faster. Uh, he doesn't have to use his speed for everything. He can see it with his eyes and his technique, and it's slowed down for him this camp. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.